Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, my name is Anissa. I am 25 years old. Today I'm gonna to be basically sharing with you guys um, my journey that I have been on, or how would I word that? I'm basically gonna share with you like my breast augmentation story. It first started when I was 15 years old, and I know you're gonna be like, oh my God, how did you get your boobs done at 15? I found out when I was 15 that I had Poland syndrome. I wanted to get the actual like definition of it so that I didn't butcher it. Poland syndrome is a rare congenital condition affecting the chest, breast, and sometimes the upper extremity on one side of the body. Generally, the major muscle is absent or underdeveloped and the overlying breast is absent, small, or misshapen. That is the definition for it. So basically I started realizing when I got into like seventh grade that my boobs started to become different sizes and it started to become really uncomfortable but obviously i was so young didn't think that much of it just thought i would kind of grow into them because i come from a family and a mom and a sister who both have huge boobs what i would do to hide it was i would take out all the padding from swimsuits i had and i would literally like build myself a boob on one side so even like if I was going to the pool with friends or anything like that, I would feel like each side, like if it was my bra, my swimsuit, whatever, like each side on this side would always have multiple paddings in it because I just never wanted anybody to find out or figure it out. I actually didn't even tell my mom or like my sister or my aunt or anything like that until I told them like that I really wanted to get my boobs done. And you could only imagine at the age of 15, they were like, what are you talking about? And I just was telling them like, my one of my side is like a D and one of my sides like an A and they're like no you have big boobs just like us and I was like no I don't oh my mom actually didn't even see my boobs until like they made me my first appointment with the doctor and when I went to that first appointment he basically explained to me that it was totally normal he had seen it before explained to me what the syndrome I had was and my mom like literally like cried when she first seen it because she couldn't believe that I like hid that from her for so long. If you or someone you know, your daughter, cousin, whatever, if they're experiencing that and it's an extreme thing, let them know it, like it's actually a syndrome, you know, so they don't feel as embarrassed because I was so embarrassed for so, so long. I got my first breast augmentation at the age of 15. And since I was so young, they only put an implant on this side, um, on one side and then gave me a lift on my other side. And when I was 18, I had to go back again and get my boobs done. And they put an implant in this side and then gave me a lift to this side just to make it even. And then throughout the years, you know, I've lost and gained weight. Um, if you've been following my channel, you know that I lost 40 pounds like about two years ago. And they really shifted after that. Um, I've been unhappy with them for so long just because they have been again as you can just see right here This one sits a lot higher than this one and until recently like I didn't even know that it sits this high because I have a ton of scar tissue So this implant turned 10 years this year. I was 15 when I first got it done. I'm 25 now I'm actually getting them done again in two weeks. I am so excited. It happened super fast I've been talking with the doctor since like August but couldn't land a date because I'm a makeup artist and I work a lot. I work every Saturday. So I was trying to figure out what the best way to do it was. I have my surgery September 14th and I'm so excited. What they're gonna be doing is they're gonna be taking both of my implants out. I have 500 cc's on this side and I think like 350 on this side. Um, and so they're gonna bring this one down to 300 cc's, bring this one down to like, I think, 250 or 200 just to make them even i'm gonna get a breast reduction though on this side and then i'm also getting um a lift on both of them just to make them as even as possible and i am so excited i am so excited to have smaller boobs i have had such immense back pain from how big they are i've been so uncomfortable i've been honestly like Kind of like embarrassed of them for a long time i know i'm very confident on social media with like on my outfit post i am constantly inside like always hoping that no one really notices how off my boobs are i don't like to wear bras a lot and it's something that even though i'm not as confident with it like i try to like push through it and i just hate them like i hate them so much like i wanted to just completely get rid of the implants altogether, but i couldn't 
because obviously I was an A on this side and a D on this side. So I'll never be symmetrical without having implants in because it's unsafe to make this one an A like this side just because that's taking out too much tissue, the doctor explained to me. This is something I've never really talked about a ton like on social media just because it hasn't really came up and it's not something that like I care to talk about a lot. But I also am very real and honest with you guys and don't mind sharing this now like in an actual formal video. Um, I'm really excited to get my new boobs. Um, I'm excited to wear tops and dresses and certain things I've always wanted to wear. I wish I could get rid of them completely, but I can't. So I am okay with whatever safe and I trust the doctor's recommendation. He was very straightforward with me and I loved that about him. And he was just like, I'm gonna take care of you and don't worry, you're in good hands. And I just had a couple friends go to him and um, a couple people I know. So I feel very good about my choice. Um, but yeah, let me answer some of your guys' questions because you guys had questions for me. The majority of them was like 15 how and why and I just explained that because of the Poland syndrome, they were able to do it at a very young age because it was actually like not just cosmetic. It well, technically it is cosmetic, but it was actually I had, I don't even know if you would call it a disease, but since I had that and it, they were so, so off, that's why they did it. And even my current doctor explained to me, he was just like, he's like, I know that your situation must have been super dramatic. That's why they did it at the age they did it. Most of the people want to know uh, who my doctor is. So I'm actually going to, I'll put up like the information right here. His name is like Butts by Design because I guess that's like what he's like famous for. His name is Dr. Nichol and I'm really excited. He has really good reviews. So definitely recommend him. Uh, people are asking, um, how is the recovery and does it reduce back problems? The recovery, um, I know from my last two, I was typically like feeling 100% by like two weeks, but you obviously have to be out for like six weeks like with exercise and things like that. So we'll see how I do this time. I hope I'm backing at it like soon because I have such a strict morning routine and I love it so much and I'm going to miss it because I thrive off of it. So hopefully it's a speedy recovery and God willing it reduces back pain because I suffer a lot from back pain. My mom has had multiple back surgeries. So huge boobs could be cute, but it is painful. Someone asked, how much does it cost? It is costing 11,000, but that is because I'm replacing my implants. I'm getting two lifts. They're doing a breast reduction on this side and taking out scar tissue. So that's why mine's um, more. Um, I'm actually getting half of it uh, like finance through PatientFi. They have really good reviews on Google. It's no interest fees if you pay it off in six months. They have other plans too, but that's the one that just worked best for me. So there's a tip right there. Something you would change way back if you could pre-augmentation. Uh, um, um, I wish, like obviously I can't like go forward now. I think I wish back then they would have done a breast reduction on that one side and just put in a small implant on this side so they weren't so big. But because since I was so young and I was in high school at the time and I just didn't want it to be noticeable. I didn't know why, I didn't want people to know exactly like what I was getting done. If I would have got a breast reduction like that, people would have known if I would have got them like much bigger or like anything like that. I was just in high school and I was an embarrassed teen. Whatever could be seamless and no one would know like what I had went through what I got surgery for, that's what I wanted because that, that's what I was at at that time. It's like, I never knew your boobs were fake. It's not something that like I tend to talk about a lot because it's almost like, hey, can you sit down and can we have a conversation of why I have my boobs done? Because I guess like it's to each their own if you want to get your boobs done. I think it's the least craziest thing you can do. But for me, it really was that I had like a medical condition on why I wanted to get them fixed because they were so extremely off. But yeah, so most of everyone else is all about the 15 thing. I know it sounds super crazy. But yeah, so I get my boobs done in two weeks. I'm so excited. If you guys wanna know more about this, if you guys want to follow along with the journey or if I should like vlog like my doctor's appointments, the surgery, like pre and then like after surgery and like the recovery, let me know because I'm super willing to do that. I think they're gonna take me down all the way to like a C which will be insane for me because I, I'm like 
a 36 like double d e kind of bra right now so it'll be such a change for me i am so excited i can't wait to get rid of some of this back pain i can't wait to feel comfortable in my body and my skin again and yeah if you have been through this or are going through this um let me know down below i would love to chat with you if you have any more questions for me let me know follow me on instagram at anisaxoxo underscore i'm very transparent very honest i am pretty much an open book i love to talk with you guys and get to know you guys and i hope you like this video and if you found it helpful or informative please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.